just how wired are you? It's a good question. I've got a uh, coaxial cable crisis submitted by Daniel here, and he writes, I recently decided to swap my office and my bedroom, opting to gain more workspace at the loss of a little living space. In the process of the swap, I relocated my PC to a new room. The coaxial cable running from the wall jack to the router proved to be too short, and as a result, I ran new cable to the new location. At the same time, I downloaded and began using Skype. Shortly after I began using Skype, I noticed a severe lag in my internet connection speed. I cannot figure out what was causing everything to be slow. At first, I thought it was Skype, so I researched its effects on connection speed, discovered that Skype is one of the better non-resource hogs to choose from, well, at least according to his research. Next, I tried dumping one of the apps I installed with my Skype phone, Strike 2. Then, realizing I could, could not remember when the last time I cleaned out my browser was, I deleted cookies and passwords, thinking that would free up RAM, Strike 3. Finally, I figured it out. In addition to a new location, I added a new TV to my office mix. The PC and TV split the same cable line. I used an old segment of cable I had from a few years ago to connect the splitter, or from the splitter, to the PC. Eureka. After changing out the old segment of cable with a brand new, never used segment, my internet speed was back to normal. I never realized the importance of simple, a simple string of copper. Here are my top five tips for using coaxial cable. Now these are his tips. I don't know if I agree with them fully, but I think his uh, point is pretty well taken. Number one, buy a quality product. He said he tried using a cheap cable and it failed miserably. He, noted, he notes to stick with a name brand, although I don't know if that's terribly important. I think quality is much more important than brand, and, and sometimes the two are not related. He said, better yet, get a cable from your cable provider. In most cases, it's of great quality. To go a step further, have it installed by them as well. I don't know about having them install it. I don't know if there's, you know, really need to have them install it, but certainly uh, I've always had really high caliber uh, cable uh, at least provided from any of my uh, cable providers. <laughs> Number two, considering upgra or consider upgrading to an HD optimized cable line. As the rest of the media world makes the transition to high definition, now is the best time to swap out your lines even if you don't use HD. Generally speaking, HD coax is of higher quality and can carry more information, thus improving connectivity. Someone's going to chime in. I heard someone pop in on, on Ventrilo. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know about, you know, going to a high-definition cable. I didn't even realize there was high-definition coaxial cable. I know that in this house, we have networking, uh, like, centralized, uh, and uh, so, like, a home network. And they test the signal to make sure that we have enough signal that's split out from uh, the hub to every destination in the house and in some cases I didn't need to amplify that signal any but I've used you know uh, amp signal amplifiers in the past I don't know if that's helped my internet connection speed but it certainly helped television signal quality uh, if I've had issues uh, on down the line it, it really does depend but I, I have swapped out uh, certain coaxial cables with other ones and, and had much better uh, well, uh, uh, signal. The uh, the ones that I've always found work better, the ones that you, you basically screw on versus the ones that just pop on and pop off, those have always, it, that's to me, that's always been an indicator, a prime indicator that it's not a good quality coaxial cable, the ones that don't screw in and screw off, uh, you know, when you're screwing around with coaxial cable. Number three, keep quality in mind when selecting the connectors and the hardware. See, this is what he's saying. He suggests brain, uh, good splitters, elbows, and extenders as the cable, as, as much as you keep, consider the cable itself. As with most any electronic item, the old adage is you get what you pay for, it still applies. Make sure all the connections are tight and fully connected. Not doing so will cause a loss in signal strength. Number four, remember that signal strength. Most people have a single coaxial line running into their house which, from which they split off to all the different cable sources in the house. Keep that in mind that the more you split your line, or the longer the line is, the weaker your signal will be. If you can afford to, have more than one line installed to separate TVs from computers. If you experience signal degradation in your TV signal or having a connection issues that you can't resolve, call your local cable company and ask for a technician to boost your signal. And they'll be able to tell. In fact, my modem for my cable connection here will tell me uh, the upstream and downstream uh, frequencies to tell me how my signal's doing, and I, I seem to be, you know, well within, uh, you know, 
the uh, suggested parameters for it, so I know that I'm I'm optimal at least as far as that's concerned. Uh, so your modem may actually support that. Uh, you might want to find that out if you've got a, a cable modem connected to your network. Number five, finally, stay organized. Run your cable along the wall and attach with cable clicks clips to give it a finished look. If possible, run in the ceilings or along the wall under the carpet. If exposed, I suggest pur purchasing cable the same color as the background or you know your floorboards or whatever. Uh, at corners, be careful not to have too tight of a radius in your turns. Accidentally crimping your line can cause signal degradation. And uh, you know I I'm that way anyway. I don't like having cables and, and cords lying around. I'm pretty bad about not labeling every single cable and cord that I have. Uh, it depends on what I'm plugging it into. If I know, oh, this is only going to plug into this, and it's got the label right on it, so even if I lose the cable, I'll know what it goes to. Um, but you should see I've got a nest, and you have, actually. If you take a one of my home office tours that I recorded and uploaded to YouTube, um, there's it's horrible back there. It's absolutely just, it's just, it's really bad. It's, it's nasty. And I've got my cable line running from, uh, from this, in, in this room here at least, I've got it running uh, along the wall through the closet and along that wall to connect to the TV that I'm pointing at right now. That is actually connected to the computer that's running this video camera. And the only reason why I'm talking about this is because, well, I'm a geek. Uh, number one. Number two. Uh, it's it's a good discussion. Uh, you know, if if you've had issues, you consider an amplifier. Consider swapping out your cables. Just consider checking those connections. Um, these are all, I think, uh, well within reason. Um, you know, and if you hadn't thought about it before, maybe you you need to start thinking about it. Don't cheap out on your cable, especially if you're, talk, you're talking about your television, or if you've got like me, uh, you know, a, a cable internet connection. You want it to be as, as good as it can get which in many cases isn't very good, but that's okay. I'm not going to make this all about Comcast. My email address is chris at perillo.com if my email happens to be working at the time you try emailing me. I've been having other issues not related to my ISP. But you're also welcome to swing by our website where I'm streaming this live video out over the internet. Of course, I'm not using my cable connection. I've actually got that connected to a DSL line. That's what the live feed is... Uh, going through. I had too many stability issues with my cable modem. I wasn't doing anything I shouldn't have been doing, at least that I know of. I was just, uh, you know, going on YouTube and downloading stuff. So you're welcome to stop by, to say hello, because I'm streaming the live video out and we've got this chat room here and we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.